Hi guys, I am at work. <laughs> it's at 719. Um, I didn't think I was going to have to work late tonight because we had a Houston that, um, that was supposed to be canceled. Um, it was canceled actually yesterday, but I guess I had to reinstate it because, um, maybe people needed to, to leave or go or whatever they needed to do because, um, I've, don't think they can cancel all the flights. So I'm doing that and I'm also um, probably doing a Denver flight. Um, so we'll see. I'm looking outside and normally it's crazy busy and right now it's not that busy. So um, we'll see how tonight's shift goes. Um, hope you guys are doing well <laughs> and I will talk to you guys in a minute. You guys that work at the airport, how has this COVID-19 affected you um, and your job? And then for you guys that don't work at the airport, has it, how has it affected you? I think it's affected me about the same in both both jobs actually um, eerily quiet <laughs> my other jobs all online so it's really quiet um, some of the hospitals um, that my students um, did their internships at um, they're no longer taking students because it's a little dangerous and then here no passengers so okay so I'm in BSO right now and I just had to um, do a file for someone that left their bag on the um, the belt, the conveyor belt. So I did that and then um, Denver just came in. There was so few passengers, maybe 20, 30 passengers. And now I'm gonna go ahead and um, I guess have an hour or so in between, a couple hours. And um, I'll just sit at the ticket counter. We have about 12 passengers for a plane. Um, one of them is a non-rev and 11 are revenue passengers no one's in first class except the um, non-rev and um, just waiting for that and I have to do that flight and after that we're done um, our San Francisco was canceled so that's pretty much what I'm doing <laughs> So I'm getting the jet bridge ready and um, I only have 13 passengers. So that's crazy, 13 passengers. Um, so I need to just bring up the jet bridge. We also have an aisle chair. An aisle chair is um, a passenger. They're not able to move at all. And so when they have to lift them off the chair and then put them in the aisle chair, like a wheelchair that goes to the aisle. So that takes a little bit of time to get off the plane. Um, and normally it kind of causes a delay. But obviously it's not going to cause a delay today because um, it shouldn't because um, we have so few passengers that are boarding. So let me go ahead and get this set up and um, my gate reader set up, my computers are set up, everything's set up. I just have to do my announcements and um, the plane will be here in like five minutes or so.
12 14 p.m and i am done that was probably one of the weirdest things i've ever seen was okay so there were eight people in the plane um and the flight attendants put them all in first class every single one of us i'm um, one of them they had um that first class had the capacity of um 12 people and they put everybody in the first class and everyone was all excited so it was really neat um but it was easy it was super easy too bad that it, it's not you know that it's a virus and stuff because this job is super easy with only eight and ten passengers each time hold on you guys so there is definitely definitely no way an airline can stay in business only having like eight passengers I feel like the fuel and everything is way more expensive than they are they'll be losing money when they don't have these flights at least what 80% filled or something um, so um, obviously we're gonna have a reduced flight schedule like we've been having and um, we'll go from there hopefully everything will recover and um, it'll it'll it's gonna get it's it's just a weird time right now but it's gonna get better it's gonna get better okay you guys I will talk to you later it was nice talking to you and I will see you in